Hey guys, welcome to Saudi Reflection. My name's Oliver. My wife Stephanie's with me today. She's videoing for me. And we're taking you guys out on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina. We're headed out here to get a used floater that we bought. And we're going to use this little 14-foot skiff that we're in to try to get that floater. I'm estimating about 12 to 15 miles by water. Um, we got some pull ropes with us that we use as a block system that we can hook to the back of the boat. We got tons of extra gas with us for this little boat. We got about 13 gallons in it, so I'm hoping it will be all right. You never know how much more fuel you're gonna burn when you're pulling a heavy load. Got us all umbrella some things to take along. Really, we just want to bring you along on this video just to show you some of the beauty that we see out on the water. Check out this little barge that's coming in right behind us. This is what they use to build the docks and stuff down here in our area. He's flying the uh, American flag, guys. And they use the little track hoe that's sitting on that barge to actually drive pylons in the ground to build docks and different things in this area. So we're going to run on down the river, guys. When we see some interesting stuff, we'll stop, take a little look at it, show you some different things. We're leaving out of Jenkins Creek in Beaufort, South Carolina. Right over here in the distance, these houses you see right here, this is what is um, Daltal Island. And nice flat marsh area through here or shallow area through here that we do a lot of fishing in this area. We're going to have to move on along, staff, try to get on out here as fast as we can. I mean, we never know how long it's going to take us to make this trip. That's right. Are you excited? I am. To do something to different? Have a little floater so we don't have such a nasty boat on the bottom. And, staff, give them a little look at your shirt, the shirt that you just designed. And check out all the detail in this salty reflections, guys. Just look at the crabs, the little shrimp the starfish i mean steph really did a great job on that shirt i believe let's head on down this river get to it up here you can see there's an osprey nest try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better you can hear her hollering and a lot of the osprey actually they've had babies this time of the year and they They've been feeding them. We've watched them a lot down here. That's right. And here's another uh, little point off of the Daltal Island. Some beautiful houses, a little sailboat there, and some of the docks that you might see in this area.
we made it right here to the Eddings Point boat landing, which, which really ain't but a mile away. So we're going to use them down through here to show you these old docks and shrimp boats sitting here. restaurant is the Morgan River Grill. Some 
of the homes along Lucy Creek. Spray nest there with a pair on it. Or possibly mom and baby this time of year. Point Bridge comes across from this side, which is Ladies Island. It connects over on this side, which is Cusaw Island, leads out to Judge Island. Little marina there on Cusaw. And they got this uh, puffer boat landing right here. You see this big, beautiful building. It looks kind of like a big log cabin to be built out on the water. You can actually rent this uh, building right here for you know different events that you and your family might want to um, have in this area. I don't really don't know the information, um, but I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're familiar with this area. Uh, and it is a beautiful one of these venue. Docks right here, they. They're known for in the movie with Forrest Gump when uh, the shrimp boat actually ran up into one of the docks. That was filmed. A lot of that movie was actually filmed right here in Beaufort, South Carolina, or Turn Bridge downtown, when he's acting like he's running across the Mississippi River and the park right when they hit the dock, like I'm saying with the shrimp boat. It was right up to here, one of these docks. Yeah, the story goes they were gonna destroy the dock anyway and rebuild, so they allowed them to use it for the movie to run the shrimp boat into. But we actually, you know, we don't know that. We don't know all the details behind it, but we definitely know this is where it was built. Sam's Point. What a great movie. You ain't never seen that movie. Check it out. I hate to abort this mission. You? It has lightened up a lot even with my glasses on because I can see now that it's not the same color as the cloud. It was just as black as that cloud a second ago. But But what do you think now? Dark. What do you really my think now? Are very, are not very dark. I see it lightning still back there though. Well, what you want to do? I say carry on. Sometimes when you're the captain of the boat, you get to make the decision. I've made the decision, you guys. I've seen three or four more lightning strikes back here. And I know it's disappointing staff. She wanted to go out here and get this thing there, but sometimes it's just not worth it. So I guess this is, you know, going to be video number one of trying to go retrieve this floating uh, boat floater. We may give it a try again tomorrow. And if we do, you know what? Hit that subscribe button and you'll get to go along with us on that video. Also, I'll bring you guys along. Give us some likes and loves on those videos or likes and thumbs up on the video, guys. And we'll keep coming along with you. You see that lightning. We got to run still six or eight miles back to the house. This trip is a lot further than what I originally estimated it. It's going to be probably 
40 to 50 mile round trip. I don't even know if we come prepared with enough fuel. So next time we're gonna come a little bit more prepared and we're gonna watch the weather a little bit better. We're running from the storms out on the Crusoe River. comments guys ladies what would you do would you abort the mission or would you press on and we're coming back around now into the out of the Kusaw River the intercoastal waterway also right here in the Kusaw River into a parent creek and we still got about five or six miles to go to get back to our dock and the storm is actually coming around in that direction I'm just hoping that we beat the leading edge of the storm back to the house Definitely trying to outrun the storm right here on the water of the beautiful South Carolina today. And I've seen other boaters out doing the same thing. Looks like they're starting to head on in. Woo! Look at that thing. This is a big storm. And man, it's so dark over there. If it would surround us out on this water right now, we wouldn't be able to see 50 yards ahead of us. Uh, very easy to get yourself even turn around in a river. You can't see the banks and you can't see where you're going. It's easy to run up in the marsh or anything. Definitely don't want to get caught in this thing. Ooh, another storm back behind us. That dark cloud that had come over us while we were sitting out there waiting. It started dropping water behind us now. I've seen a lot of storms come through this area and that direction right there from where we at is a northeast pattern that they follow that big river. A lot of times they say the river, uh, you know, storms follow the big rivers. So if that's the case, we may slip right on up under there. We got to go right up under that dark section of clouds right under with the bright light. And this thing is getting bad. And now guys, uh, we've made it around here and we're about to make this right turn into back into the Morgan River. And we got to cut right over there in the distance. You can see um, Dalton Island and we got to get over there closer to the storm we're going to be moving closer to the storm across some big water here 
and we're going to have to get over that way to get into Jenkins Creek. Uh, we can either try to, you know, head out this way into the open water and hope this thing moves on by, or we can try to make it back to the house. What you think, staff? It's getting rough. We're going to the house. And we're going right towards the storm, guys. And you can see it. It's getting choppy out here. made it back home and you know it was a heck of a ride getting on back down here or getting back to the house um just want to thank you guys for coming along on the video you never know when you're going to get caught in a storm you know some of you guys are going to say well you should have checked the weather a little more closely well hey we can put the blame on anything we want but sometimes we make mistakes appreciate you guys coming along on the video give me enough likes on this video and i tell you what i do i carry to get that um boat floater. We'll still go get it. We might try it in a different way.